Welcome back to more High Speed Adventures with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. This is Stu Jones, and we are catching up with our members at the Tampa Bay Poker Run uh, 2018 edition, and we now have part two. We left off last time, and it was Saturday morning, and look at a beautiful Saturday at that, as the boats all milled around getting ready for the big money shot uh, heading through the Tampa Bay Skyway, or the Sunshine Skyway, it's properly titled. Look back in the distance, you'll see an aircraft flying. He's actually a registered participant. That's the Icon A5, one of our new sponsors with that amphibious uh, airplane that uh, lands in the water, a two-seater with big horsepower, a Rotax engine. Anyway, more on that later. Let's close in on the teams for a closer look and look at this eclectic mix of boats from center consoles to cats. I'm riding on board with Ron Zolak. That's us there. That's me waving <laughs> in this uh, 30 foot skater, 32 foot skater powered by Mercury Racing 400 R's and uh, always good to ride with Ron and Chip. Not very often that I get to jump in a boat like this, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, Chip uh, was at the helm. Ron sat in the back seat and said, Stu, sit beside Chip and uh, have a front row seat for this, and we'll have a lot of fun today. So what we're doing now is we're gathering up the group and staging to take off through the Tampa Bay Skyway uh, because this is the money shot segment. It's one of the very few events that has a very well-known landmark. In this case, it's the Sunshine Skyway, where the boats can actually transit through the Skyway. The helicopter high above can get all the boats in the wakes uh, going through the Skyway Bridge. And there's not very many places in the state of Florida that we can pull off a shot like this. We did it last year. It turned out amazing. It's on the cover of Florida Powerboat Club's uh, 25th anniversary calendar and we thought we would give it another shot. And this time we've got more boats, so very important to stay safe. We've got to control the speeds going through this section, but just look at this mix of boats and look at how incredible the conditions are here. It's the middle of March or the end of March, and there's no better place to be boating right now than right here on Tampa Bay. And that, to me, right alone is the money shop. We haven't even got up to the bridge yet, and here we go. Remember, it's important to spread the boats out, and uh, we usually like to put the front runners uh, up front where they belong, uh, the guys who like to run faster. So naturally, as you look down closely, you're going to see a lot of fast catamarans with big power who are stretching it out, running about 110, 120 here now as they push the throttles and head towards Egmont Key. The helicopter was able to position itself right here and hold the shot for quite a while. This is something you can only do in the light wind conditions. In heavy winds, it's kind of a bumpy thing to do, but we had perfect conditions for flying today, and thanks to the guys at Tampa Aviation uh, for putting us right in the zone to capture these money shots. If you guys were in this uh, poker run and you get a chance to look down and see yourself, but of course, we're going to start closing in for the cockpit close-ups, and this way that we can introduce all of our poker run teams who've come from far and wide across the country, some as far as Canada. Cash Schubert is all the way from Texas. This is his 38-foot cigarette Top Gun liquid Prozac, a Mercury Racing 525 EFIs, a boat that he has recently redone, and uh, he has had a lot of enjoyment with this boat. I don't know that many guys who have as many hours on their 38 Top Guns as Cass does because he is all over the poker run circuit nationally, and he's been a great supporter of our poker run events as long as I've known him. And many of you also uh, are aware that he's got the triple X boat he's working on now. Look for that boat on a future poker run. And here's another club member who's a two-boat guy. He's got a GoFast Nortec 477. He's also got this 50-foot hustler. This is Brad Hancock from the Atlanta, Georgia area. Does a lot of his boating on Lake Lanier. We first met him up at the Lanier Poker Run. But he loves going on these events. This big hustler has got some serious horsepower. I can't remember if they're big Sterlings or they're not, it's not Mercury Power, if I can recall, but triple engine boat with a lot of power and very, very fast, well over 100 miles an hour. He's got Pete Waller on the helm uh, riding with him today, uh, and they have got this thing dialed in and looking great. Love the way they redid the boat, and check out the side exhaust, guys. That's something we just don't see anymore. And it looks like it's uh, rendezvous time now with our poker card stop number one. This is going to actually be poker card number two. Uh, but our friends uh, in the Sea Keeper boat uh, went ahead, Kevin and his crew. Uh, they busted a move uh, a couple of hours earlier and got this Sea Keeper contender uh, on the spot here at Egmont. And they are handing out the first card, or at least lovely Kiana is. She's our new FPC girl who joined Ariane. Uh, and this is her first assignment uh, from the, the front of this contender. And what great conditions we had for doing this boat-to-boat -boat handoff. You know, it's sometimes... It can be a little rough and a little bumpy over here, 
and I've recalled a few incidents in the past where we had a couple of little fender benders, but today it was ideal conditions for what we wanted to accomplish. Look at the amazing high-level view here with Egmont Key and that perfect pristine beach. You can't really see it, but way off in the distance is the Tampa Bay Skyway, the Sunshine Skyway, and Tampa Bay. But this is the extent of our trip into the sort of like the open Gulf waters today. This is as far as we're going to go to the west uh, before we uh, turn around and head back towards the Sunshine Skyway. And we do the rest of the day uh, in Tampa Bay. Chris Lamort here getting really close here with this uh, side of his boat on the front of that contender. But these guys know what they're doing. They get close, but they know what the heck they're doing. And we didn't have any incidents on this card handoff whatsoever. So... I think that worked out really well. A great opportunity to get some good video. Sorry about the helicopter pushing you guys into the other boat, but uh, we always tell the helicopter to stay up pretty high for this sequence so we don't have too much prop wash that uh, pushes you into the card boat. Uh, but for the most part, they stayed back and they got some of these great shots. Look at this fleet. What a mixture of boats, though, if you think about it. Still very, very colorful, but catamarans, Performance V-bottoms, uh, big and small. This one, a 52-foot Nortec with Mercury Racing 1550s. To a wide assortment of outboard catamarans, performance V-bottoms, and of course, center consoles. Uh, we know we've got plenty of them here on this event. Uh, some with triple, some with quad power. And a lot of manufacturers represented. Of course, we have our regular sponsors like Midnight Express and Deep Impact and Blackwater. Uh, and, you know, speaking of Midnight Express, there's David Landsman and his crew on their 43 Open. Uh, but so many manufacturers, not only from Florida, but even some out-of-state manufacturers that are represented here at this event. Uh, there's Joe Grady with his Outer Limits, uh, his first poker run with the club. And here's Noel and Gretchen Speranza with their Concept 44, Quad Mercury Racing 400 Arvarados. Uh, really setting an attendance record here here in Tampa, their third event this year. They also did Key West prior, so they're really on their fourth event in a row, and I know they're registered for the next one. So they really have set an incredible attendance record, and you guys should all pay attention because they got an A+. Plus. <laughs> and uh, here's Greg Gatolson with his 32-foot Sensation, pair of Mercury, or I should say Mercruiser 496HOs. Uh, almost a high-performance motor, but ideal for this 32 Sensation. Uh, we've got a couple of sensations on the run today, and we have a lot of cigarettes, uh, including Cass's 38 cigarette. We've got John Wax and a Gladiator and a number of other Top Guns. And here he is, uh, John Wittenberger and his 36-foot Sonic center console. The only one like it in the club, and uh, my guess is the only one we're going to see for a while. We do also have a lot of Nortex and a lot of skaters riding here with Ron Zolak on this new 32. Hey, what's up, Kiana? And, of course, uh, Josh and his crew on the Dirty Duck, 42-foot cigarette that goes to a lot of poker runs and had a lot of fun with them the day earlier on the Friday Fun Run. But uh, we're going to see more of this boat in the next episode, number three of the Tampa coverage here as well. And it's going to be fast and furious now for the next several minutes as we close in. On the front runners here, starting with Bill Munyon in this 368 skater, a pair of Mercury Racing 850s, uh, a boat that he absolutely loves. And I know he likes going fast, so I think it's going to be a while before we see him in a center console. And let's join Chris and Quinn Lamort all the way from New Jersey with this 36 skater, Mercury Racing 700s, but I think that they're a lot bigger because this is one fast 36. Uh, but they are great supporters of the club. In their video bio, they said, great event, great weather, great people, and great location. Well, thanks for the kind words, guys. We're glad you like the new location, and we're certainly glad you could make it. Cool shot here as you look down and see that new Icon A5. Uh, that is Warren Curry and one of our new sponsors from Icon Aircraft. And uh, we want to welcome them for their first event with Florida Powerboat Club. And you'll get a closer look at this really cool aircraft at the Emerald Coast Powerboat Poker Run uh, August 15th to the 19th. Icon Aircraft's uh, flight training uh, manager Andy Jackson will be on hand with the aircraft. He's going to be actually flying the poker run and landing at some of the checkpoints. That is going to be extremely exciting. 
And speaking of exciting, it's very exciting to ride with these guys. You know why? Because they love going fast. Uh, Johnny O'Laughlin from Long Island, his buddy Jimmy McIntyre alongside. These guys like to have fun. They like to go fast. This is a 34 MTI powered by Mercury Racing 400 Alvarados. It's the matching sister boat to Johnny's big 48, the Team Vengeful. And this has got to be the other money shot of this event as we cross over these front runners. These guys are looking sharp. Dara Ariza came all the way from Boca Raton with his 38 Dons, his ERC. He's got big power, beautiful graphics, and uh, Darris loves going fast. David and Jenny Landsman all the way from Maryland with this 43 Midnight Express Open, five Mercury Racing Verado 400 Rs, uh, a huge cockpit, a lot of custom features, an incredible stereo, and yes, indeed, this is the boat that has the shower and gave us a nice show on the previous episode uh, of this Tampa Bay coverage. Uh, and David and his crew are always known for putting on a good dockside show, and this boat was created for that purpose. Let's welcome back Bob and Madeline Christie, big-time supporters of this Tampa Bay event uh, in a brand-new 34 MTI. Bob says he absolutely loves it, says that it handles like a 40-foot boat. Well, he ought to know he's owned at least 10 boats prior to this one. Uh, he also says they love the Tampa St. Pete area, has great boating, and they always meet their best friends here on this event. And a very special welcome to Joe and Janice Grady. It looks like Janice isn't on the boat today, but she's there in spirit. In his bio, Joe said that this event was good fun, and he thanked me for helping him track down a Mercury Racing blower belt, which allowed him to run on Saturday, and it looks like he's running just great. I know he's got Mercury Racing 700s, but I believe they're pumped up to about 800 horsepower, which is the ideal power for this 2008-39 Quattro Outer Limits. One thing Joe did in his video bio was he dedicated this run and running his boat in the memory of his late father, John, and in the memory of his good friend, Tom Lopez. Let's say hi once again to Noel and Gretchen Speranza. We've seen a lot of this boat this year already, this 44 concept, and that's because they are enjoying it as much as possible and signing up for every poker run they can which is why they're on the president's gold honor list for perfect attendance. And while I'm feeling really good about this video and being very complimentary, I just want to extend my compliments once again to Greg Tolson uh, from the Tampa Bay area for taking this 32-foot sensation in 2016 through 8 to 10-foot seas all the way to Cuba and back like a trooper. And I rode alongside him in my 33-foot Ocean Hawk at the time, and I think we both kissed the ground when we landed back in Key West. So. Uh, congrats to Greg. Uh, you guys have been great supporters of this event. Good to have you back. And let's say hi again to John and Tracy Wittenberger. Uh, I think that mom is not on the boat. This tends to be a father-son trip, uh, John and John Jr. Not sure we have to get a closer look because I've lost track. They go to so many poker runs and the crew changes from time to time. But they're running this 36-foot uh, Sonic Roadster center console, twin Mercury, 350 horse Verados. A perfect engine package, uh, a great poker run boat. Not a speedster, obviously, but they got another one for that. They've got a go-fast cat as well. But this is the boat that they can use to go on poker runs and bring the family and bring friends, and everyone has a great time. Uh, but these guys are your buddies when you're on the run. They're always there to help everyone and uh, love having them back every time. And we've got to thank George Ariano also for his continued support of the club. Uh, his wife, Ann, joins him on several of these runs. It depends on what boat he drives, though. But when he's in the 36 Sensation, chances are you're going to see Ann because it's one of her favorite boats of all of his fleet, the small fleet of boats. This is a 36 Sensation powered by Mercury Racing 540s. A great setup. I got a chance to drive this boat back in January on one of the runs, and I love the way it performs. Now we're catching up with Jeff Mowry all the way from Massachusetts in this 33-foot Donzi pair of Mercury 500 EFIs. Uh, now, 500 EFI, that, you don't hear that very often, do you? Well, I checked his uh, boat records. It's a 1998 Don Z33, uh, which goes to show just how long this boat's been around. It's a 20-year-old boat. Uh, but from where I'm sitting here, it looks pretty darn good. Obviously, he's taken care of it, or somebody of the previous owners have. But I do want to welcome Jeff. It's his first run with the club, and glad he could make it. Here we are now with this, uh, I don't know what it is exactly, but we left it in because it's pretty cool looking. Um, this is not a registered boat. Somebody happened to be out here during the poker run. Obviously, they were paying attention to the FPC schedule. 
Uh, but we left it in because I kind of like the shot. It's got that uh, unique bow rider situation going on there. If anybody knows what kind of boat this is, uh, maybe you can tell me. I think it's a West Coast boat. The only thing missing is the life jackets. Guys, look at when you're riding up in the front like that, that's a very, very dangerous place to be. Uh, but the girls are looking great, and maybe that's one excuse to not wear them. But guys, wear your life jackets. It's the smart and the safe thing to do, and that way you can have many, many more days of boating fun. And this is the segment that I was truly waiting for because this is uh, my chance to show Ron Zolak's new skater uh, with his buddy Chip driving and uh, myself riding along. Ron invited me to ride, and I hadn't been in one of these for quite a long time. You can see we're not exactly tearing up the waterways right now, and that was kind of cool because we don't have to be a pace boat anymore. We're just an official boat. Obviously, I need a seat to ride in so I can pay attention to what's going on with the event. And I think Ron is the same way, you know. He was really chilling in the back seat, and that's a side of him that I've seen, you know, more recently. I've known him for a very, very long time, but it seems like the last few years, he's been very content to just, uh, you know, take it easy and let somebody else do the driving. And sometimes I think he enjoys his boats more when he can sit back and take it all in uh, rather than be focused on driving. So, you know, Ron, I get that. I, I'm the same way when I had the Nortec. I did that a lot. And even when I go out boating with my family, I like it when my kids drive and I can just sit back and enjoy the ride. Uh, but, of course, Ron Zolak, everyone knows uh, as the owner of the Flight Club in Detroit, also very well known as the guy who started sport. Skater Fest, uh, if my memory is correct, and it certainly uh, has been in the wheelhouse on that effort for the last several years. So uh, nice to ride with these two guys, uh, awesome team, and uh, I hope I can do it again real soon. And here's a nice shot showing the construction of the new St. Petersburg Pier, and that means we're now arriving at our next car checkpoint at the Vinoy Basin. Uh, of course, this is all mapped out on a little chartlet that we give everybody. It's easy to find your way around in Tampa Bay, but that little chartlet uh, does help a lot. It's laminated and you keep it in the boat with you. Uh, you don't have to plug in all the waypoints in your GPS. It's pretty easy to follow the pack around. And we have got lovely Ariane putting on a show and she is one lively FPC girl. So happy to be back on another poker run with us. She joined us on the Tampa Bay poker run about three or four years ago. And I know that uh, she made an impression on a lot of the people because some of the guys were saying, hey, whatever happened to that Ariane model? We really liked her. Hey, hey. So we enjoyed this little stopover. Uh, let's roll the music for a bit as uh, we watch everybody get their cards. Guys, there's like, there's three more boats. There's three more boats. Just doing my job, reminding our poker team to stay on this uh, position to get the last few boats that are coming in. As uh, Jason and Christy Strauss uh, will buy in their 38 statement. This is one spirited team. And while we're on the subject of spirited teams, well, we've got three more coming up right now because these guys in the Nortex, they really put on a good show, uh, starting right here with Ed and Jackie Rachel in their Nortex 39 Sport uh, Center Console, triple Mercury 350 Verados. Look at the ladies. Look at their beautiful bikinis all matching. Oh, got to love this stuff. Ed, come on, man. High five for letting the ladies do their thing. Uh, obviously, Jackie and the girls know how to put on a show and uh want to thank you guys for looking so good i love this 390 sport love the colors uh and this is a crew that's been waiting for this boat for quite a while they're avid yachtsmen actually ed's ed and jackie have a nice big yacht i think it's a viking if i'm not mistaken 
Uh, so they wanted to go fast and because they've been riding around on the poker runs with other people on other boats and they said, no, no, it's our turn. We, we need to get our own poker run boat. So this 390 Sport was not only the perfect tender for their yacht, also a perfect playground. Nice placement of the hand there, Jackie. We don't miss a thing. That's why I love this job. And here's another one of the three putting on a great show. Another 390 Nortec, uh, a little bit of a darker blue this time. Craig and Cynthia Belfato uh, from Florida, actually locals here in the Tampa area. They're right in their own backyard for this poker run. They told us in their video bio that they purchased Bulletproof from Bent Marine. That's Greg Bent, who's also active in the club, as a Christmas present to each other. So not a bad little Christmas present. They say uh, what made them attend this event? Well, very nicely, very kindly, Cynthia said that we love Stu and we love all the people. The venues are awesome and they just enjoy the sport so much. Um, the highlight for them for the event is probably one of the highlights for me too, and that is happening right about now as they got all three of the Nortex in line. By the way, no cue from me. None of this was planned. And these guys just got together, ran together, they lined them up together. This is the kind of stuff that I love to see, and you guys get high fives all the way across the board for putting together this cool shot. And I know that the guys at Nortech that are watching right now are saying, wow, you know, this looks like a factory shoot for Nortech. Well, basically it is, but your customers are doing it for you. Now let's uh, pay a visit to the third part of this beautiful formation. Uh, this is Chris and Kimberly Erickson from Erickson Marine in Sarasota. And they've got dad on board. Uh, Chris's dad, Bill Erickson, I've known for a long, long time since the early days when I started the club back in the early 90s. He was one of the executives over at Wellcraft uh, in Bradenton, and uh, it was nice to have Bill along on the event. Uh, Chris and Kimberly, their second year in a row in a, in a Nortec. They did it in a 34 the previous year, now in a 39 with triple 350 Verados. And I can't punctuate enough just how important this boat has been to Nortec high performance uh, in North Fort Myers. Uh, it's been a real staple in their lineup. Of course, they have an incredible lineup that goes in many directions. But here you are, guys. Here's the money shot. All three running together. And let's give Nortec High Performance a little plug because they are a series sponsor with the Florida Powerboat Club. Uh, but between the Belfados and the Rachels and the Ericsons, uh, you guys uh, did it up. And I've got to say, this is the kind of stuff that just gives me chills when I watch it because we work so hard to try to make these shots happen and sometimes they just happen on their own and uh, you guys made it happen this time so thank you thank you very much and you guys out there in the YouTube world watching this this is the kind of stuff you get from the pros and these guys are pros I'd like to now welcome new members uh, to the club Craig and Paula Ackerman uh, from Georgia with this uh, Formula 292 Fast Tech uh, sweet looking boat I love the colors uh, Paula wasn't able to make it but it was a family uh, weekend for Craig he brought his father along, as well as his uncle and his cousin. So it was a guy's weekend, and they said that they just had a blast. And one thing Craig did point out is that he really loved the downtown Tampa venue. So for many of you who did this for the first time, I think that that feeling is mutual among many of you here in the club. Now let's say hi to Neil and Cindy Campbell here on their 42-foot Mystic. Uh, I believe they did their first run with this boat back in the Key West Poker Run. And they're kind of in their own backyard. Their home is just south of here in the Fort Myers area. And of course, they're also yachtsmen. Uh, they have a big Lazara, which is not pictured here, but they've got it back at the main marina downtown uh, at the convention center. So that's their liveaboard quarters for the weekend. On board, they've got their friends uh, Bryant and Stephanie uh, and Phil and Ashley. Remember, Stephanie and Ashley were the two lovely ladies who did the poker card, the very first card earlier in the day. And starting to see some common themes in the coloring here now, this 38-foot statement, uh, black and tan. A beautiful boat, obviously statement known for their fit and finish, uh, and this one is absolutely beautiful. Jason and Christy Strauss, also local to the area, a triple Mercury 350 Verados, the perfect platform. They've got a lot of friends. As you saw earlier, they have a very spirited team with our lovely ladies. Guys, I'm sorry, I think you also were entitled to the Sexiest Crew Award. I only had one to give out. Next time I'm going to bring about five because you deserve to get one as well. Not their first rodeo on the Tampa Run. They did it in the past in their 38-foot fountain center console, but now they're styling in this new statement. 
This day just keeps getting better because now we're stopping off for this lunch checkpoint at Hula Bay Club at the Tampa Harbor Yacht Club, one of the most popular stopovers in the area for boaters. Why? Well, because they have great food, great service, and you couldn't have a nicer day than today. So let's check in on the fun and see how everybody's doing. And there you have it, uh, another happy customer, Kiana, one of our new FPC girls, having a blast here on the 2018 edition of the Tampa Bay Poker Run with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. This completes episode two of our three-part series, uh, part three coming up shortly with more high-speed thrills as we head back out onto Tampa Bay waterways. And our destination is going to be the new venue at downtown Tampa with the boats docked at the Tampa Convention Center. And many thanks to our headquarter hotels, the Tampa Waterside Marriott and the Western Waterside. Uh, the Saturday night party going to take place at the all-new American Social, their flagship location. Uh, that's going to be a big party. It's all going to be here on part three with full coverage of our Tampa Bay Poker Run with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching. And if you want to follow us in social media, we're all over the place now. Of course, we have our Facebook page at FL Powerboat. And be sure to hit the subscribe button on this YouTube channel so you get all the notifications. And on Instagram, check us out at these four different pages. Please remember to make safety your top priority when you're out on the waterways, especially when you're going fast. Wear your life jackets and always leave the booze for a happy hour when you're back and the boats are tied up.